All right, so the, welcome to Razor's Armory. If you're doing any kind of reloading, uh, sooner or later you're gonna mess up. Whether that's accidentally setting a bullet too deep, like I did, or just not getting around the way you want it. So I did that and I went out and bought the Frankfurt Arsenal Impact Bullet Puller. Um, it comes like this already assembled and it comes with these collets and a rubber band it comes with three different ones uh, ones are down a bullet I just pulled um, I set this bullet too deep this is a factory bullet this is another one plus it doesn't have any primer or powder in it um, as you can see I set it too deep uh, for myself so I need to pull it and get a new one or, and get it set correctly. So basically, you make this little thingy here, and it's a pain. But you get it on there and it holds it like that, and then you unscrew this, set the bullet right there, screw this down real tight. Put it against a hard surface like this piece of wood right here and pop it. Bullet pops out. If you got a powder in there and you know you need to do that, you have to dump the powder into something so you can reuse it. Um, for myself, um, I won't lie, I jacked up five of them. I set one of them way too deep. So, you know, if you're looking to do some bullets that you need to met pull apart to redo I suggest uh, especially for a lot of reloaders it's an important freaking tool you're gonna need I didn't think I would need one until I did that yesterday um, setting up my Hornady ammo plant um, setting the crimp seating die and the bullet feeder I I will admit I messed up it's a, it's a learning thing going from a single stage to a big monster like that Back there is, it's, it's a challenge. Um, there's a lot of setup. It took me about two days to set it up. So, you know, if you're looking at freaking getting a, uh, into reloading and something especially big as that, uh, get you a bullet puller. Even if you're doing single stage, get you a, a good bullet puller. Basically this one, all you do is something like this. You know, Bang it real hard and everything falls into here. You can pull your casing out and then you can pull your bullet out and then you can dump your powder into a powdering measuring pan or back into the bottle or whatever you're going to put it in. Um, they do have some that go right into the, the press itself and they're made to work for the press. I think this one's a lot easier. Um, it's sturdy so... I figured I'd go with this one and give it a try and um, I pulled five bullets with it in a, a matter of a few seconds um, the only thing I didn't like was these collet thingies right here um, it, it's a pain to get them on there I, I struggled with it until I figured out a hey, you know uh, I, can, I can do this um, but um, it'll do two two threes this is a loaded round um, it's wolf uh, steel case. I don't shoot wolf. I don't like wolf um, Mainly because it's dirty and uh, I Just I just don't like wolf. I don't shoot steel case period out of any of my guns uh, even my uh, ACR uh, and 7.62 by 39. I do not shoot wolf out of it. In fact, it won't even shoot wolf I make my own uh, 7.62 by 39 out of brass but um this is something that I didn't think I would need, but come to find out, I will need it and I will get a lot of use out of it. Um, I paid $14.95 for it. Let's see. Oh, it's not on there. Um, at Carter's Country. Uh, so, it just saved me some money right there. Rounds and brass are cheap. Uh, powder is not really cheap. Um, I pay twenty four eighty two for a CFE, but this is what you're going to need if you're doing any kind of reloading. So, um, 
Thanks for tuning in to Razor's Armory. And stay tuned. Uh, we'll be posting a video on setting up the ammo plant and doing some 9mm reloading. Thanks again.